Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. They're doing their part, are you? Join the mobile infantry and save the world. Service guarantees citizenship. Would you like to know more? Of course you would, and that's why it's time for Starship Troopers Extermination. Dive into the role of a fresh mobile infantry recruit as you take on the task of joining 15 other cadets with minimal value for their well-being and their fight against the bugs on the desert planet of Valaka. Start out being thrust straight into a literal trial by fire as soon as you're off the dropship and immediately besieged by swarms of bugs called bugs. Luckily for you, you're equipped with the latest in pest control technology, a gun. You can use this to spray dozens of bullets into their exoskeletal assholes until they stop moving, then a few more just for good measure. But don't waste too much ammo because you've got at least a few thousand more of those pesky little critters ready and willing to skewer your body just for the entertainment value alone. You're not just here to play the Orkin Man though, you'll have one of two types of missions to take on in this early access experience. The first one simply has you running around as a full squad completing some random events like standing in a circle, fixing some generators, or collecting some blue Kool-Aid from these extractors that slurp it out of the ground, pissing off all these subterranean menaces. Regardless of the task you complete to lead up to it though, it always culminates in a mad dash to a site where a MacGuffin has dropped on the ground and you have to defend it until it's done doing the science fiction thing it needs to do. But now you get to build an entire base around it complete with these incredibly sturdy paper-thin walls, sniper towers, automated turrets, bunkers, and even electric fences that probably do something. You'll need all of this though for the onslaught of angry bugs that want nothing more than to stab their mandibles into your science fiction endeavor and anything else that gets in their way, including your face. But if you're successful in keeping those things unstabbed, you now get to dive directly into the pandemonium of gnashing claws, flying bullets, blinding smoke and explosions, and all of the screen shake that has ever existed to blitz to the waiting dropship. Here you can relive all of the glory of the movie as you carve your way through enemies from all directions and hopefully make it on board with both of your legs. Don't worry though, you'll have plenty of time because even when you do make it on board, these dedicated soldiers will fight eternally just outside of the ramp ensuring the dropship doesn't take off until the timer runs out. Yet when you do finally leave the carnage behind, you'll get to tally up your score and accumulate some XP for the rewarding pleasure of unlocking items in a progression chain. Depending on which of the three classes you chose, the flying one, the one with the revival drone, or the guy that can surround himself with the tiniest little walls, you'll progress through these chains independently. Then you'll be able to unlock more weapons, gadgets, doodads, and even perks to make you just slightly better at not getting decapitated by swarms of giant arachnids. Starship Troopers Extermination, the movie tie-in we always wanted and we only had to wait 25 years to get it. Even with the bugs and general janky feel of this early access release, and despite the currently limited maps and game modes, Starship Troopers Extermination captures the spirit of fun just as well as it captures the spirit of the movie. The experience of battling against this variety of monsters from the elevated walls of your base or face-to-face -face running across the fields is incredibly thrilling. Some of the parts leading up to that though, in particular in the second game mode that unlocks after your account reaches level 5, can be a little less entertaining. Waiting to grab and haul a canister of resources hundreds of meters back to your base provides a reprieve from the adrenaline but can also feel like the least interesting job on the list. This mode involves much more coordination and communication but with player respawn for most of the mission and limited conflict it feels a bit more like doing chores before the real event. However, the correlations between this game and Deep Rock Galactic have given me a lot of hope that this delicate balance between all-out action and the relatively mundane can be achieved. But there is one thing I'm afraid of for the future of this game. It's a There are plenty of players right now, but with 16 of them in a match, it means it's very dependent on those numbers staying consistent. When they're all split between three difficulty settings and two current game modes, it could eventually mean inconsistent queue times. Hopefully, this developer can feed players enough fixes and content to keep them interested on this road to a full release and beyond. With what is available in the current game and the potential for improvements and additions making it even better, Starship Troopers Extermination gets the abbreviated score of good. If you'd like to see more hot takes, warm satire, and tepid commentary about video games, make sure to like this video and check out my other abbreviated reviews.